Hey, what's up, ladies and uh, gentlemen? It's yours truly, Alex, here in my hood in uh, Toronto, Canada. In this area I've been living in for the past, I would say, 14 years. And I'm proud of the area where I'm at because it's, it's right next to the subway and it'll be accessible. Well, actually, <laughs> I was going to say... This area will be served by a new LRT line soon. Uh, we have a lot of high density apartments, condos here. And uh, yeah, it's a Sunday early evening, today being the 23rd of April. And uh, yeah, we're here on Roselawn Avenue. Just started at Marley Avenue. Look, there's a, there's a swim school I used to uh, go to in the in the uh, early 2010s to take swimming lessons, of course. And there's a mini mart. And I think it's just, I think it's only now I'm noticing these, uh, these proposal notice notices. They're gonna get rid of these, these uh, very low rise apartments here to build, of course, a generic condo. I'm not being judgmental or anything, but this is Toronto. Everywhere it's always condo construction. A lot of areas have, uh, have uh, gentrified, especially, you know, east side of downtown and midtown. So we're in the old city of Toronto. Of course, on the other side of Marley Avenue is York. So I believe we are in the, we're pretty much on the, the, the very edge of uh, the rather affluent Forts Hill neighborhood. And we're walking east on Roselawn, and according to the sign, this is where oh, this is where uh, Elmridge Drive begins, but right after Bathurst Street, it becomes Roselawn Avenue again. But of course, uh, west of Marley, there's a lot of low density housing and uh, commercial activity. I've already filmed a walking video there last summer, and I might do it again. Maybe when uh, the Eglinton Line opens and. Uh, um, the, and then a new bus route will begin operation along Roselawn and Castlefield called the 179 Castlefield, though there might be some tweaks to that. And we're going over the Allen Expressway, which is one of few very short uh, highways here in the city. Well, technically it's not an actual highway, but you might as well, uh, it might as well be. <laughs> And of course, what's very unique about it is because in the median of Allen Road, you got the Toronto subway system. That would be the western end of the Young University line, or formerly called in my day, the Young University Spadina line. Hey, we got a southbound subway train. So that's looking north to North York, and there's Glencairn Station in the distance. Although I am very close to Glencairn, I, some, I most of the time go to Eglinton West, but uh, when, I, when I would go to Eglinton West, I'd always take the 109 and not walk because uh, walking is, is temporarily inaccessible because the direct path down there is close. See, look, I would always take that path all the way down there, and of course, that, that, that would, that would, that's just basically a direct connection to the subway. And I see a Orion 7 NG at the 109 bus base. So, yep, that's my homer right there. And of course, there's the 32 and uh, 63 routes, which I take all the time, essentially. Look, there's the Bell Canada building. So now we're going to be walking into the depths of Forest Hill. Actually, Forest Hill is divided into two sections. Or is it called districts? One is Forest Hill North, which is where we're at right now, and south of Eglinton is Forest Hill South. And this is where the the high income and rich people are. A lot of these houses range for nearly a million dollars or over. It's even more expensive when we get down to uh, when when you go down to uh, Spadina Road, uh, Kilberry, and a lot of other. Uh, Notable side streets to name a few and uh, Yeah, never one of these Sunday early evening videos because it's relatively quiet. I mean, uh, maybe if you go in the morning, it's uh, It's a lot uh, quieter 
And today, I was actually gonna, this afternoon, I was gonna head down to uh, High Park as the cherry blossoms have uh, bloomed very early because of the unseasonably hot temperatures we got uh, the, uh, two weeks ago. But uh, as I was about to head out, I was in a lot of freaking pain. And uh, it was, turns out, uh, it was, uh, I had one of these, uh, these uh, stomach slash uh, gas pains. So uh, I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna rest. I took Pepto-Bismol and then within like five minutes, the pain started to uh, wane out. That was better, but uh, I was still recovering. But now I am totally fine. So instead of going down to Hyde Park, I just thought, let me film a walking video here along Elm Ridge in my hood and then maybe I'll film a couple of bus rides. I haven't, I haven't filmed the transit ride in a week, you know, almost every, uh, pretty much every day I am posting uh, transit rides, mostly bus rides, but also I throw in some subway and streetcar rides and occasionally uh, go transit rides as well. In fact, I got a couple of them coming up. And yeah, since we're at the end of April, a lot of the, the leaves have started to grow on the trees. Well, some of them anyway. And there's a lot of birds out. No squirrels or raccoons or anything of that nature yet. So I'm just gonna take it slow this evening. Maybe tomorrow, this depends on the rain as well, maybe tomorrow I'll head down to High Park. And then I was thinking after that, I had to film a uh, streetcar ride. And yes, I'm wearing the exact same gear as uh, as uh, a Friday when I when I filmed my two walking videos in the east end of the city. That's because of Toronto Maple Leafs uh, won, and whenever the, the Leafs win, I, I, I just got to wear this sweater. I was thinking of that, there's an old uh, Leafs uh, flag on that Honda right there. I actually do like the new logo a little better than the old. Here's a little small parquet. I know this Panasonic hammer is causing, it's causing me some stress, but my dad's gonna take a look at it tomorrow. Ooh. So this might have been an old, uh, this might have been a, a, a typical house here, but now they may have a substation inside. It says, high voltage, keep out. So this is the roundabout here. And there's Old Park Road that'll take you down to Eglinton Avenue, which is half a kilometer to the south of here. And there is the K Gardner Beltline Trail. Again, it's an old railway line turned into a city of Toronto park space. And that's the name of the parquet. I'll just read it out. Nickel. Magnetical Park. And sometimes I always forget the name of this park. I don't always come here pretty often, even though I should, because what the hell? This is my hood. Nevertheless, I'm really fortunate to live such a very nice, right next to such a very, very nice area with a lot of beautiful homes whether it's old or new. Look, there's some cherry blossoms up there on uh, Old Park Road. This might be a bit of a short video because I think in about 800 meters or so we'll be at Baffert Street. I was thinking of uh, filming a ride on the uh, 33 down to St. Clair West and then up on the 90 and then I'll film a walking video just heading home. Now, what is the time now? I'm, I think it's... Ah, there you go, 7, 10 p.m. I was hoping for a sunset, but no. The clouds just came in and I think it's setting up for rain. And of course, once it becomes rolls on, it'll continue all the way to Young Street, which is about two and a half kilometers away from here. I, it's not so far, but it's a hell of a walk. And if you're taking the bus, it's 
it'll take about, uh, let's say, 10, 10 minutes. And that's if you take the 32 or the 14. It's nice and quiet here, peaceful. And I'm pretty much done school. <laughs> I am free. I definitely plan to do a lot of more walking videos and transit ride videos. Not just here in Toronto, but uh, but uh, anywhere you would find me in the GTA, whether it's Mississauga, Pickering, Markham, Hamilton. I really want to get out to Hamilton. And I. Uh, there's a 99% chance we're going to Montreal in the summer. But I am going on a special trip that's only going to be a day trip, unfortunately, because there isn't enough time on our hands, though. Staying one night would be, would be great, but uh, we're heading to Buffalo, New York, US of A. It'll be my very first time on American soil. And nope, I am not going alone. I am going to be going with my dad. And I'll I did put up a community poll saying, uh, no, you know, telling my viewers, guessing like where, sh where like, like which city am I visiting, and the majority of you guys were in Buffalo, and a lot of you guys are right. So I hope to film a walking video there, but definitely there's going to be random clips that'll make that a, a, a its own video, very similar to the series of clips, random clips around the city and the GTA. Look at that. Yeah, there's a few cherry blossom trees here and there. Of course, the popular cherry blossom spots are at Hyde Park, Trinity Bellwoods, and outside Robert's Library at University of Toronto. And we're coming up to Bathurst Street. Okay, so this will now depend on when the 33 is coming. I know it's a, I know I've been filming for just 12 minutes. But it's, maybe I'll... I feel like continuing the video, maybe we could continue walking a bit more, but we'll stay in the area. Oh yeah, and also I did post a, a little uh, thoughts, opinions on the community tab about the, uh, the new uh, hybrid electric buses were we're receiving from New Flyer that's going to be replacing the Orion 7s. I don't, you know, the reason why I didn't have the community tab and not in a separate video is because I was, I was, I've been very busy with school and had a, haven't really had much time to go up make videos. And probably, if I even did a video, it'd be super long because I am very lengthy and also I'm an expert at at pointing fingers of a TTC and also at complaining and negativity, if especially. Because there's still, there's still a lot of shitty things that have been going around the city and the Toronto Transit Commission, and especially that in May we're going to be seeing some more service cuts. Friggin' shame. Especially that the 32 will be affected, and of course, Line 1. Anyway, forget that. So there's a lot of low rise apartments here around this intersection. But at this point, we are now a five-minute walk from Forest Hill LRT station. And once again, Elmridge becomes Roselawn right here. And there's the stop for the 14 and 33 routes. Of course, the 7 is 7 obviously runs on Bathurst. Now, since I'm already here, let me, after I'm done crossing the streets, let me check the phone and see when the next 33 is coming. Because <laughs> it's now 7.15. So there's a stop right here. Although, if I was heading straight home, I would have taken the, uh, taken the, the 14. Oh, you're kidding me. I had just missed it. The next one's in 26 minutes. Ah. Uh. Oh well. Yep, we're gonna continue the video. There's probably like one bus on this on this route. 
I think we may veer off at uh, Chaplin Crescent here. Forgot to mention this area has a huge Jewish population, so it's not uncommon to see a lot of people in their religious clothing, especially on Saturdays because it's their day of rest. I think what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm, I'm gonna head down Chaplin and I think off camera, I'll look back up to the stop and wait for the 33. Of course, it's Sunday. There wouldn't be a lot of service on the uh, less used routes, short, short ones as well. But I got time, the sun is still out. Maybe we'll pay a visit to uh, I forgot the name of the park, but there it is right there. And we'll end it off. Or if I do feel like continuing, maybe we'll head down to Eglinton, but I doubt it. At this point, I can walk all the way to Young Street from here. <laughs> or even down to Eglinton. Well, through Chaplin or down one of the small paths. Of course, stay tuned for more walking videos to come around the city and elsewhere in the GTA and uh, maybe uh, outside the, the GTA as well, like Niagara Falls, I could do St. Catharines again or wherever. Montreal for sure. And of course, Wednesday, when I go to Buffalo, well, there might, well, well, there might not be much, but at least you guys might get some random clips. Pick up the name of the public school here. There's also a community center. But anyway, I might be killing some time. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll shoot random clips while I'm at it. That's if uh, I find anything interesting though. Oh, and there's, I'm not gonna zoom in because uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just driving me crazy, but there's the Chaplin LRT station entrance and there's also the Young and Eglinton skyline in the distance. Or you know what, I've only been filming 18 minutes. Why don't we, uh, I think you should have stopped right there, but <laughs> I don't see the lights are flashing. You should at least have slowed down for me to cross. Ugh, I have to right of way. Here's the Beltline Trail. And I'm not sure what street this is now. More low, more low rise apartments here. This is Shalmore Boulevard. I think this might be Vesta Drive, is it? Is this Vesta Drive? No, this is Mayfair Avenue. I think the 33 stops right here, but I don't see any uh, bus stop. Oh wow, I love these doors on this uh, high rise. I feel like I'm being watched, but of course I see some revamped elevators in there. Oh, and there's Forest Hill Collegiate, local high school here that Drake went to, and I believe he dropped out. I remember when I was when I started to make walking videos. I was at Sunset back in 2020, and I did a freaking 48 minute walking video in this area. 
Nope, I never went here for high school. Nope, I didn't. But uh, Eglinton is right there. And I think I'm gonna cross back to the other side. I'm pointing down because there's a lady and her dog that's probably uh, watching me. I'm keeping the camera down and we're gonna head this way. Oh wow, look at this. Is that a... What type of bird is that? That can't be a J or something. It's red. I'm not familiar with this, but this is kind of rare. Aww. All right. I think we're gonna call it quits here and I'll loop back to Bathurst and Rose on the way through the 33, so. Guys, uh, thank you for watching another one of my walks around Toronto. Plenty more to come, of course. And uh, if you're new, subscribe. Would be really appreciated. I'm almost at 1,400. And uh, as always, if, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment. And if you want to support a channel, you can head to my PayPal link, leave a donation there, or you can always do that on the super thanks button. And, uh, oh, this scaffolding was not even here when I was on the bus two days ago. Crazy. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, take good care of yourselves, everyone. Bye, y'all.